for my nomads out there, for anyone thinking of not renewing their apartment lease, for anyone thinking of selling their house and living mobile, living as a nomad, I just uploaded a video about, in, I was at an RV dealership and I was showing, I was giving the message to start small. Because if you are just thinking and starting the idea and brainstorming process of living a downsized life, possibly with an RV uh, or van, whatever it may be, start with a car or van. Because if you start with a travel trailer, if you start with, you know what I mean, a class A, class B, class C, if it doesn't work for you and you have to go back to the dealership and trade that in, you're going to take a huge, what they call haircut, meaning you are going to lose a huge amount of cash value on your trade-in and you are going to owe more than you'll get back from the dealership. But if you just don't renew your lease, or if you just sell your house and you move into a small, regular, you know what I mean, uh, van, not a commercial van, just a regular van or a regular car, and if it doesn't work for you, you can go right back to get a new, uh, a new apartment or buy a new house or do whatever you want, and you don't have a depreciating asset that you have to trade in for uh, and get less back than what you owe. Start small. St start out of your car or van. That's the answer, in my opinion, in my opinion. If you start out of your car or van and it doesn't work, then you can easily transition back into the traditional way of living, which is out of an apartment, house, etc. But if you buy a RV, travel trailer, class A, class B, class C, and you decide six months later it doesn't work, then you're going to owe more than that recreational vehicle is worth. You're going to take a huge financial loss, and then you're right back where you started, except now you're back in an apartment, and now you owe more. Because you ain't going to park a, a travel trailer or whatever in your apartment complex. Start small. Start out of a car van, in my opinion, in my opinion. Living the nomad life. For almost a year, I can tell you, I believe it's wisdom. If you are by yourself, if you don't have a family, if you don't have a pet, that you should start out of a car or van. Now, obviously, each person in each situation is individual to your unique life. So I cannot make a general statement that applies to everyone. Because everyone has, I had a great viewer the other day, you know what I mean? We went back and forth, we were talking about rush hour, and she lives in the New York area. And um, we're, she was just basically told me that she has a plan. And I know what that means. That sounds like what I said to to others and to myself. I had a plan. I mean, they, they, I, you can't communicate in one video a certain way that you plan to do it for you. Because everybody may have a unique circumstance where they figure they'll do this for this day and they'll park here and they'll do this. So I respect that everybody has their own plan like I did. So that's cool. But what I want to say is I believe that you should overall in some general terms, I have to say, start in a car van because if it doesn't work, you can transition back to a traditional lifestyle very easily. You are making a huge life transition. You're you're living a you're going from living in a condo, apartment, house to transitioning into a a completely non-conforming lifestyle of mo mobile, whether it's a car, van, etc., etc. So if if you're just starting that and you don't know fully if it's going to be something you like, you have to try it. You have to try it. There's no substitute for that. I can make videos. Other people can make videos, but you'd have to try it. And there's nothing wrong with trying something and not liking it and going back. You have to do you in life. Do you. Don't let anybody judge you. But what I want to say is this. So then if you made that transition to that mobile nomad life and you decide it's not for me and that's okay, you can do that and go back. It's up to you. Then if all you have is a regular car or a small van, you can easily go back into an apartment or condo, or whatever. And you just park that thing right there. It's your car. But if now you got your car in a big travel trail or a big, you know, recreational class V, you can't just go back to that lifestyle without taking a huge financial loss. And part of getting in this lifestyle is to lessen the financial burdens of life, to gain financial freedoms so that every time you go to a job or every time you may lose a job, you don't have a sinking feeling in your gut and you aren't owned by your financial obligations. You are free from your financial obligations. That's part of this lifestyle. So you can free up your spirit to be more creative, to live your dream. So don't make your dream a nightmare by over committing initially. Start small. I wanted to provide some, you know, personal 
you know, visual as far as face-to-face -face interaction to back up the video I just uploaded about. If you're going to start, I believe you should start in a small, uh, in, start in a car or van, not directly into a big RV in my opinion. Do what you want, but I'm inspired, so I hope you stay inspired.